Cody and I loaded a trailer of 300 bells last night and got it strapped down and ready for delivery this morning. Um, Trey is pulling it and taking it to the feed store right now, so I thought I'd get a little footage of that, of this, because I'm following him out to the highway. I have an appointment, and we left around the same time, so I thought I'd just keep an eye on the bells and make sure they weren't shifting and the load looked good. Little incident uh, yesterday when they were loading the hay, um, they accidentally yanked the seven-way plug for the trailer out. So we're doing a little bit of repair and maintenance here today. Kara's actually gonna be the one doing this. Uh, pretty simple fix. Just get you a, a standard little seven-way plug. And we're just, uh, already the wires are, are great. I'm just gonna make sure they're threaded tightly. And then we're going to feed them into this and see if it works out. When the connector got pulled off, the red ended up getting sheared a little shorter than the rest of the wires, so we're going to cut them off to make them all even again. <laughs> it still won't focus, but it's okay. What are you going to feed the wires into? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we gotta cut this sheathing down so we have a little bit of wire exposed so that we can feed it into here. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> no, we're not electricians. <laughs> we actually <laughs> gave up using the uh, the tool and yeah, just went to do wires, yeah, it went to the razor. It's a delicate job. And Kara does good at these. She does pretty good at fixing up trailer equipment, doesn't she? Thanks. <laughs> If that were me, that. <laughs> if that were me, I'd have already thrown it across the barn by now. But we didn't want to take off and do this hay delivery without getting this fixed up because there's a lot of liability in that and it's just not as safe. And once we get that fixed, we'll be taking all this hay, all 300 square bales to the feed store. It's been a while since I've driven a trailer, but I'm kind of used to heavier equipment. So I'm not too shaken up about it. So I just twisted all of these to get them all nice and tight. And now I'm going to feed each individual wire into its yep. spot that it's labeled to go into on here. I'm going to put it in between these plates, tighten these screws down, and then put electrical tape around the whole thing to keep the screws from backing out. Perfect. Okay, so, so we're going to we'll show start. about one here. I'll start with red. This camera's struggling to stay in focus. Boom. Look at that. Oh, I got a glove. Okay, so we got all of our wires in. We Let's realized look. in the process that we do not have a white ground wire. We were slightly concerned that it was farther up in here and just gotten sheared off. But we went and checked with our other trailer and it does not have a white ground wire either. I read on the internet that sometimes the trailer can be grounded through the hitch ball, so I'm assuming that's the case here. So we're gonna Amateur farmer approved. <laughs> so we're going to proceed with wrapping it now with electrical tape to prevent the screws from backing out. Yeah, so I'm going to get, get it close to that. And see if it works. What's that shirt say? It says firefighter wife. Approved. <laughs> Clip it. Explain or mess up. <laughs> we had this little white piece that we were supposed to put over the wire mm -hmm. so it would kind of seal the whole thing in. Um, and what did we do? We didn't put it on. <laughs> so we totally we forgot. To cut it. Mm -hmm. and now it can go over the wire and we can put it where it's supposed and to And put some electrical tape. You, It's all right. It'll work. Redneck it. That's all we got. <laughs> and if it breaks, we'll go get another one. <laughs> but for right now, the $10 isn't worth undoing all of that. <laughs> 
So we hooked up the trailer and we started messing with the lights. Left signal was turning right signal, right signal was turning left signal. I think uh, the turning the lights activated the brake lights. It was only all, one side of the brake lights. <laughs> only one side. So we're like, all right, let's be smart about this and we'll take a look at our old trailer. So we realized if you're going to come close, is the wiring is vastly different. So they're not color coded. It's not color to color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, color to color. So I believe that says green. So yellow is green. White's empty. In other words, we're going to yeah. follow this wiring and exactly. rewire this other plug to be the <laughs> Match exact this, same. and this will be our baseline. We didn't have a baseline as that got ripped out. So, so left turn. Caution? Yes, cautions. Brake. Yes, brakes. So it's just the turn. Just the left and right turn. Last attempt. Left turn. Yep. Yep. Caution. Yes. Right. Yep. Got it good. Lights. What? And lights. No. This one in the back. It hits the rest of the room lights. I was probably just the tail lights being the fix. Yeah, so I'll have to do that later. Likely we're going during the day today. Here we go. Mr. Driver here. I gotta get some uh, window cleaning. So, we've got our trailer full of hay and we're on our way to DNL and Denton to deliver a 300 bale load. It's the first ever trailer of hay you pull. No, not first ever, but definitely longer distance. figuring stuff out. Thought we were having a little bit issue with the brakes and the, the shifting gears, but turns out that's just what it does when you're pulling this much weight. So. Yeah, it gets exhausting learning everything on the job. Yeah. Just. We're still having a wiring fault on trailer uh, error message. But they work. But the lights work. Yeah. At least the ones we need to work work. So if any of you guys know, please reach out and tell us what we did wrong. Because it, yeah. it bothers my OCD a lot. So basically we got everything working except for like the running lights. Yep. Um, Which and the running lights on the side of the trailer work, but yeah. not the ones on the back of the trailer. And uh, that's it's okay because we're not driving it at night. but whatever that one percent chance that we will i would like to get them working and make sure that there's no underlying issue that could go into something bigger so i'll have to take a look at them later i'm halfway wondering if that was the one where there's two wires going into one don't so check it yeah anyway that's pretty much it we're gonna <coughs> drop this off go back and they'll probably end up cutting today hopefully hopefully god willing The hay's staying on the trailer pretty well. Yeah, we had Kim following us for a yeah. little bit to kind of make sure nothing was shifting. Oh no, no, she's still behind us. She's still behind us. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just eyeing it like a hog. She said it's all good from her perspective. No shifting at all. So, this is, we, we checked the load and everything again before we took off. So. Some of the things that we do on the field, I'm sure they can have some innate danger to ourselves. But I'm out in the roadway and I have a lot of weight and that just like that right there. The RGV cutting in the lane. And this can hurt somebody, kill somebody. And so I want to be very safe. Safety first. Yes. Not always, but today. I we quadruple check everything. Yeah. And I did a good rundown of the, the truck and the trailer did like a little pre-trip inspection is what you would call it and uh made sure i had i got a flat that i had all the necessary tools to repair it they're dualies but just in case because sometimes like one dually will go out and pop the other 
so you have to rotate them out. Just make sure the tools are very prepared. <laughs> I try to prepare Anything everything. Can go wrong. It's not we've been got a, we've got a fire extinguisher in the back seat now. Yeah. Just in case. I've been on plenty of hay bale fires that have caught on trailers. An extinguisher won't do much unless you catch it early. If I can catch it early, there's hope. Uh, well, unfortunately, it's a really small extinguisher. <laughs> I'm going to work on that in the future. But they can, a little extinguisher can put out a lot of fire. You'd be surprised. I've had them, so I think what happened on one was a guy actually flicked a cigarette butt under the hay. So, like, out his window and it, like, went into the hay. And it caught him. Do that it. was the theory. That was never proven. It makes sense. But that was the word I heard. Yeah. yeah. It don't take much, a little spark, and it goes up. Well, I followed him all the way to the highway. Now I'm going to be late for my appointment. But the load looked good. He hit some pretty good bumps. No shifting of the bells. We did good. We did good. We made it to D and Allen Denton. Now we're just going to get pulled in here. Yeah, right here. So, okay. Those are his old trailers. Kara getting the tie downs off. Putting it to work. Did you get it? Nope. Got another one over here. We're here at the old feed store. I'm over here doing government work while she's actually putting muscle into it. <laughs> it's a little bit harder. So push straight down with that lever up. That grapple hooked up and gonna get us unloaded. Got all the tie downs off. It's ready to go in this barn here. They've got a Fancy grapple on there.
Yeah. Probably have to try and do that. Fighting with the snap ring. Wait. This is the magical moment. Yes! I is, love I, that sound. Probably not the proper way to do it, but I no, I don't know. I'm just trying to get it on. It's so. on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh yeah. What's that? What did that? Can go to. We're back to cutting. Yep. We're just hoping that this belt stays on. I did find and make sure that the zerk at the back of the PTO shaft where it actually sits on the cutter is grease. So thank you for that tip. And it and it definitely was. And then I've got to scout out my U-bolts and see how I'm gonna go about mounting. Because none of us know how to weld. We gotta bring out Brandon for that. There you go. Um, and that's a tip from another viewer. He's actually made a video for us um, and I thank you for that very much and I think that will be very helpful and I'm crossing my fingers that it hangs together for us to cut tonight and then I'll get on that and see if I can get something worked out about making a homemade guide to keep the belt on so Cody's refreshing me because I haven't been in, on the cutter in over a year and then I'm gonna take over and be cutting until I can't see anymore Far so good. I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's been a while. This job makes your neck curve. I laid down in the seat and discovered Something Scott had ridden on the roof of the Kubota. I tend to agree with him right now. <laughs> 